Hey everybody, Doug here. I'm at NAB 2024. I am in the Black Magic booth, and I'm talking to Dan, who is a representative from Black Magic. And I wanted to ask you some questions about the IP 2110. Sure. Stuff. So, it sounds like that Black Magic is moving in that direction in terms of connectivity to cameras. Is that kind of the direction you're going to approach for a lot of the live streaming or live production, I should say? Yeah. As well. Yeah. You know, for us, we've been thinking about 2110 for some time. So much so that we had actually been putting Ethernet ports on a lot of our products, thinking about the future. Mm -hmm. So. You know, for this show, what we really wanted to do was come with a really robust and full solution so that people could just start thinking about how they were going to implement 2110 themselves. So we didn't want to come. Last year we had three new products, three new products I want to say that were 2110. First to kind of dip our toes in, uh, start getting OEM people thinking about using 2110, using our solutions. This year we wanted to come out with, like I said, like that full game plan of how do we make a, a robust solution out there. So, you know, from, from the get-go, you talk about updating our older products that already had some of those Ethernet ports. So you think about our studio cameras and our HyperDeck products that have Ethernet, just being able to do a software update so that those could be 2110. So people at home that already have those products could update mm -hmm. and just go straight from their studio camera over and, and hook those up and start working with that. Right. But then it also meant updating some of our products that didn't have that, like our Smart View 4K and our audio monitors here. Being able to add uh, the 2110 on those so that we could start implementing there. So we're talking about being able to do the acquisition with our studio cameras and hyperdecks, being able to do our monitoring with our both video and audio, and then we wanted to talk about how do we deal with the distribution of that. And that's where you see the bulk of these new products where we're talking about converters, we're talking about the router, we're talking about being able to have um, our actual ethernet switch. These are things that are gonna help fill out how do we tackle a big 2110 install and that's what we really wanted to show this year at NAB. Okay. One of the concerns that I'm hearing from a lot of the viewers on my channel is the latency associated with, with the 2110 stuff. So how is that uh, going to work on these new products? You know, we're, we're, we're hoping that the latency is all going to be very low. Like, this is one of the challenges that you deal with when you start moving into these formats, right? We all are very familiar with SDI because it's, you know, very consistent and it's one cable and it's frame after frame. Um, but there's other things that SDI can't do, right? It doesn't obviously go bi-directionally. You have to have two cables. It doesn't have power. And this is the appeal of the 2110 solution. So, you know, we are believing that the latency is going to be pretty minimal ac across here if we've gotten. Now, the trick is always like the, is it a dedicated network? What else are you doing? So those are the things that are going to be, pe have people be aware with it. But um, well, currently, we're feeling like this is not going to be a, a highly latent solution. So, you know, the, the thing is we want to have options available. So if we're saying, look, we're going to stick a camera X amount out, we want it to be powered, we want it to go ahead and have one cable, like that's a great option. But maybe if I'm just going to just throw down something really quick, I'll, keep, I'll stick to SDI. That's why we want to have these full solutions of being able to, hey, I can have this bi-direct SDI to 2110 solution. So I can go ahead and convert if the rest of the solution is going to be 2110. So obviously, as these products start rolling out, now, the hope is we all understand that this is going to be something that people are going to need to be testing. They're going to want to, they're not just going to, it's not like when we come out with a new camera and everyone goes, great, I'll order a camera, I'll buy, a reseller's going to order 100. These are solutions that people are going to want to test before they implement and put into big jobs. So sure. the big thing for us was to come out showing we have a full solution and then we'll get it out to people's hands to be able to test and see where things stand. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if you... I don't want to put you on the spot, but like I, I bought some of the converters that you introduced last year, and yep. I did some testing, and I was getting, I was never able to get anything better than three frames of latency out of those. Are the new products going to be better in that arena? So the hope is, I think that there is going to be, but I don't quite you know myself, quite a, definitely an engineer, an engineering level question. You know, obviously our goal is to reduce latency as much as we can through all, all that. Um, you know, being able to have our own network switch is going to be something because, like, obviously the network switches that are out there, they're designed to just be network switches, and right. we're trying to build something purpose built for it, for this. Right. Um, you know, we're obviously using our own codec. This is the other big thing that we're doing here. We're having our own free codecs. We're hoping other manufacturers are going to be able to implement this in their own products as well. Um, so it's an exciting it's an exciting update for us, but I do feel like it's one of those things that more people are going to be testing, working with, and then we're going to be able to kind of go forward from there. Now, for me personally, and I know a number of my viewers, we invested pretty heavily in the older fiber workflow. Sure. So the, the old silver uh, camera converter yep. and then studio yep. converter to go with it. Yep. Are these new products really meant as the follow-on to those? Yeah, that's exactly it. And that's why we've even got some SFP products that are a part of this as well, right? So you can buy it with the 2110 Ethernet or you can do the SFP. So we still feel that those SFPs have value out there, right? They're obviously, uh, you know, great way of getting long distance, tremendously long distances. So, you know, we do believe that, like, we... Uh, sorry, so many words and so much talking. <laughs> if you want you to know, start over again. That's okay. You know, the... Uh, 
the uh, bi-directional converter, you know, we're planning on using that as our talkback converter now because it has the, the talkback capabilities and buttons on there so that we can go ahead and just slap that into an actual workflow and be able to use those. So, yeah, this is a little bit of the advancement of those products. We think that these are going to fill a lot of those same needs, but then we're also building it directly into the products themselves, right? So the camera itself has that Ethernet built into that. The new cameras, we're looking at those solutions. Um, it's always about giving choices to customers, whether they want to use the SDI, whether they want to use the 2110, or they're just going to go to Blackmagic Cloud. You know, these are all options we want to make available and let people choose what they want to use. Yeah, and I noticed those older products are actually still shown on the website. Has those officially been discontinued, or are they still in production? So some of those, I can't remember exactly which ones. Some of them are going to fade off because they just don't really have the same place anymore. Um, some of them are going to be updated. So things like our Simpty Fiber Converter is still a great solution, but we're going to go ahead and update the studio end of that to be able to do 2110 so that it could go off from, from that end. So different products are going to have a different kind of falling off. Um, some of these will be replaced. Some of them will exist for a while longer. Um, and some of them, I think, did get discontinued this last week as okay. well. Okay. All right. The other one I get a lot of questions about is the NMOS, like how to actually route the video between all these new products. Uh, I saw that there's a, a firmware update for the, forget the exact name of this guy right yep. here, the Smart, con smart Control Pro, I guess yep. what they call it. Yep. Yep. Um, is that the only way we're routing video with that, or we have something else? So I believe there's other ways that we're trying to work on. Uh, I am not entirely sure where we are on all of those yet, but like the goal of all of this is to be as plug and play as we can. You know, the, the goal is that you know, we're not hoping you have to have an IT guy to necessarily set this all up. We want it to be plug and play. We want it to be easy to use. But we also want people that are just familiar with using, you know, Ethernet around the building that they can just go ahead and start using some of that. So there's going to be flexibility involved in all of that. We don't want it to just be using the smart control. We want it to be, whether it's software controlled or programming controlled, um, we're going to put those options out for people. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. And see, so we got the new smart, smart switch here. I assume this handles the timing, the timing master. Yep, as well. so, so the idea behind a lot of this is we want to do the timing masters there. Um, again, giving the flexibility and control throughout this. You know, the, the hard part of all of this is that someone looks at it and says, well, do I need all of this to make it work? Like, well, no, you don't, right? You could just go point to point. You can make it easy. But, you know, it's a difficult thing for us. Like last year, when we came with those three products. And we're like, so how do I do a network switch? And like, well, you have to go buy that other really expensive network switch that's out there. We want to give, the, again, the flexibility and the options for people out here. And most of these products are still coming, right? That's right. These are all announcements for these products. Right. So we're expecting these to start rolling out over the next couple of months. Um, we did want to come out with show everything that we've been working on. So it's a big, exciting announcement. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the actual deliverables of these are going to kind of roll out through the May, June, July time frame. OK, wonderful. Appreciate that. You got so, it. OK. All right, well, there we go. This is Dan from Blackmagic. And we're talking about IP uh, and also some of the Resolve features that have come out. So thanks. You're Bye welcome. Show. All right.